to Game Show Network salutes the Armed Forces, an entire evening featuring our men and women in uniform. Now, here are your hosts, veterans of the 4077th, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. Welcome to a very special night on Game Show Network. In honor of Memorial Day, we're paying tribute to our country's finest by showing them at ease, playing on classic game shows. And tonight, you'll see servicemen and women from all five branches of our armed forces, spanning the last century of military history. It's going to be quite a night. It and is. we're going to cap it off with Jamie hopping into a 1940 Hurricane 12 and barnstorming the Game Show Network office. I don't remember putting that in my contract, but uh, uh, our first show originally aired on May 18th, 1955. It's To Tell the Truth, hosted this one time by a wonderful actor and dear friend, Ralph Bellamy. And it features some true legends from the Second World War. I'll go gas her up. I don't remember putting that in my contract in 1943. The flag raising on Iwo Jima in February of 1945 was an unforgettable symbol of our country's spirit, which lives on in Joe Rosenthal's historic photograph. Now, it's been said that in that moment, Rosenthal's camera recorded the soul of a nation. And I'd like to think that in some small way, this camera is doing the same thing right now. It's, it's not, but I'd just like to think it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back for more Game Show Network. Salute to the armed forces. It's time for more Game Show Network salutes the armed forces. Now here's your host, a veteran of the 4077th, Jamie Farr. Here at the Museum of Flying in Santa Monica, California, they got an amazing collection of historic military planes, like the BF-109. It was developed in 1935. They got everything from World War I jennies to supersonic jets, and they're all on display right here. But none of them, none of them hold a candle to the most technologically advanced vehicle of them all. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Gary Berghoff's makeup trailer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Kind of brings a tear to your eye. Up next, race yourself for Alex Trebek claiming I'm bad. And it's an episode of To Tell the Truth from 1991 featuring one of the Air Force's top gun pilots. See if you can pick him out. We bad? We bad. Drew Brown continues in his badness even today as a motivational speaker spreading his message of education plus hard work minus drugs equals success and the American dream. And hats off to that. Meanwhile, closer to home, Gary continues to this day to look devastatingly cool in those glasses. And they really work for you, Pilgrim. Please stick around. We'll be right back with more of Game Show Network Salute to the Armed Forces right after this. I can't see anything. Game Show Network Salute to the Armed Forces is brought to you by Ballpark Franks. It's time for more Game Show Network Salutes the Armed Forces. Now here's your host, a veteran of the 4077th, Gary Berghoff. You know, there's always been a friendly rivalry between the Army and the Marines. Who has the toughest soldiers? The tightest ranks, the highest score in the 1991 Family Feud Armed Forces Week Finals. Up next, we'll learn once and for all the answer to one of these questions. Brace yourself. Here's Army meets Marines meets Ray Combs on Family Feud. So, in a nail-biting finale, the Army gets the big Family Feud win over the Marines. And if there's ever a dispute fought over, a survey tally board will know exactly who to put on the front lines. Next up, a little military history. When was the first woman promoted to general in the U.S. Army? And it might be more recent than you think. Find out as we continue with more Game Show Network salute to the armed forces. You have any idea? Go ahead, give me a wild I don't guess. Even... Come on. Half the time, just I don't even know what I'm reading here. Get ready for more Game Show Network salutes the armed forces. Now back for another tour of duty are your hosts, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. You know, 1970 was a very good year for two kinds of people. Women in the military and theater legend Sandy Duncan. Amazingly enough, both of them are represented on our next show, What's My Line? It features... Elizabeth Hoisington. You got it. The first woman in the U.S. to ever achieve the rank of general in the U.S. Army. Coincidentally, Sandy was known to her backstage crew of Peter Pan as General Perky. Really? 
No. Enjoy, folks. And that's an order. A little bit of military trivia for you there. Elizabeth Hoisington, the very first female general in the U.S. Uh, what's my line? And what a lady. I don't think I've ever seen a soldier look better in a dress. Oh, please. Stay tuned. There's more on Game Show Network Salute to the Armed Forces coming up. Oh, please. Please, you're so sensitive. Game Show Network Salute to the Armed Forces is brought to you by Ballpark Franks. It's time to fall in for more of Game Show Network Salutes the Armed Forces. Now back to your hosts, a couple of TV veterans who are always at ease, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. Gary, watching all these game shows brings me back to my days on Tattletales, the mm. Gong Show, the $1.98 beauty contest. Yeah, I was just thinking what, what fun I used to have on Match Game. What a great guy Gene Rayburn was. Oh, he was. How do you think we do on game shows today? Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna vote me off this time. I'll vote you off. You vote me off. Oh, that sounds good. Me first. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I'll please. Go first. No, 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 me no. First. I, I go. Me first. Let's just stick to reminiscing. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Next up, an Air Force hero is exposed on To Tell the Truth from 1962. Exposed. So we got to meet military hero Frank Kurtz, mm -hmm. learn a little about the B-17, and hear Peggy Cass say... Number two, how do you milk your snake? Not a bad 20 minutes entertainment, huh? You know, Jamie, the B-17 swoos, which Colonel Kurtz flew, later helped evacuate General MacArthur from the Philippines. Think you could fly us to Santa Monica? We're in Santa Monica. Uh, don't go away now. The Game Show Network salute to the armed forces. We'll be right back. So this is Santa Monica? This is it. Mm. Nice place. It's time for more Game Show Network salutes the armed forces. Now, here are your hosts, veterans of the 4077th, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. What do you get when you put a dozen single Marines in a room with a pack of cards, a pile of money, and Bob Eubanks? I won't ask if you don't tell. <laughs> Actually, it's a card shark's extravaganza from the vintage year of 1989. Coming up next, we'll see what these Marines are made of. Don't go away. I know Bob Eubanks. Good. Jamie, I just want you to know that my respect for you would not dwindle for a moment if I ever saw you cry. Well, that's good to know, Gary. Thank mm. you. I mean, even if you were mm, sniveling on the ground, weeping like a, like a baby, I, I, I would still respect you. Well, thanks. We'll be right Sucking back. Sucking your thumb, wearing a diaper, groveling at my feet like a helpless man-child. Yes, I got it. I got it. Thanks. Uh, we'll be right back with more of Game Show Network's salute to the armed forces after this. What an unmanly display. Where's your dignity? Gee. Game Show Network Salute to the Armed Forces is brought to you by Ballpark Franks. It's time for more Game Show Network Salutes the Armed Forces. Now here are your hosts, veterans of the 4077th, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. Oh, we're going way back in time now. Back to the days of leather flying caps, barnstorming barons, and biplane aces. Oh, college. Yes, right. Elliot Spring, a World War I flying hero, will take us back to the war to end all wars and explain the chemistry of bedsheet manufacturing. And it all happens in this episode from 1953, hosted by Gary Moore. Watch. Well, uh, Jamie, there you have it. A World War I flying ace and a canine duet all in the same show. You know, that dog wasn't half bad. <laughs> Gary, you're talking to a man who sat on the panel of the $1.98 beauty contest. Compared with Rip Taylor, that dog was Pavarotti in a leather collar. And while you're trying to get that mental image out of your mind, we'll be right back with more Game Show Network salute to the armed forces. <laughs> it's time for more Game Show Network salutes the armed forces. Now here are your hosts, veterans of the 4077th, Jamie Farr and Gary Berghoff. We've had such a great time here at the Museum of Flying, and I'd say up until Gary ate 12 packets of dehydrated ice cream from the gift shop, it was a perfect day. Hey, listen, those things are like rice cakes. You, you just keep eating and you don't realize. I'm sorry. My apologies to Wilbur and Orville. So it seemed fitting to end our salute to armed forces with a high-flying Air Force show. Here's Todd Ironsides Newton hosting Military Week on Hollywood Showdown. 
Well, that does it for Game Show Network salute to the armed forces. And Gary, these last few hours have really brought me back to our days of working together. Me too, pal. We hope you enjoyed seeing our nation's finest going for Game Show Gold. So till next time, this is Jamie Farr. And Gary Berghoff signing off. And to all you men and women in uniform. See you. Bye.